Minecraft. So to preface this video, before uh, getting into it, uh, don't look at like that. I'm gonna be touring an old uh, Minecraft world. This one specifically. Um, as, as you can see, it's a. Uh, it's been a while since I played on it. Uh, been a while, yeah. But that world, I played on that primarily during 2020, back when 1.16 was the big thing. And uh, you're going to be able to tell, you can kind of tell from uh, just uh, the little thumbnail there. This was, uh, yeah, this this was my, my really my only world. As you I've, I've not made a lot of uh, different worlds on Java Edition, um, just because I don't play Minecraft a ton. I thought it'd be uh, I thought it'd be cool to give a little tour of this world in particular. Um I don't even fucking know what Dagoobi is. I'll probably look at that later. But uh let's load up yeah and see what's popping in it. Oh oh hey, there they are. So okay, I'm probably gonna cut it, but this is um I I, I spent a lot of uh time in this world. Let's see if I can remember where it's at. 8.46 days. So it's been a... I, I played on this a bit. You know, a fair bit. But, um... Oh, there's when the... I didn't name any other... Or, who's the only one? I guess he's the only one, but... Um... Yeah, so this was the, uh... This is the bedroom. Well, well you know what? No, no, I'll, Okay, so we're out, of, we're out of the big thing. We're out of the big thing now. And actually, something I'm gonna do is turn up my sound. I, n I normally have my Minecraft sound down a lot. Alright, so we're gonna just... We're gonna go. So, like I said, um... This is an old world. But, uh, oh, you can't see that. Lots of, you know, little floating trees, but... This area, um, was not my... World spawn. I, in fact, don't know where the world spawn is, actually. Um, it's kind of... Annoying, but... It's, it's kind of annoying, but... I don't know, um... I just kind of ran away from it, but, oh man, this is bringing back memories already. I know my world spawn was somewhere in that direction. Um, I'm not exactly sure how far, but I just started running, and eventually I came to this taiga biome. You can see I, you know, deforested. <clears throat> um, I think it was, I think it was like around here there was a tree that I... I slept under the first night, but uh, as you can see, that tree and, and that bed are gone. Oh, don't, don't look at that! But um, this was the this was the first abode, the first home, and also you also have to keep in mind this was actually um my first PC uh survival world in Minecraft. Um, I hadn't this this was the first because I got Minecraft uh back in twenty nineteen or twenty twenty. And actually, no, I because I played on 1.15 first, and and that's why I started out with this. Um, I, I started, yeah, I started when it was 1.15, and then I just, I just was in here in this cabin that I made. Um, so you can see we've got some little, you know, two little areas for plants. Um, inside, of course, everything's gone now, but I had some cakes for some reason. I don't know why I was doing that. Had two foxes, evidently. There was more shit in here. There was... I, I think I put my chests here and, like, my bed was in this corner or something like that. I don't remember exactly, but... This is honestly... It's still pretty... Pretty homey. Um, and I had a... My horse went here. So it was, you know, it's just a, a nice little cabin in this little... Little cubby, because... he had... Oh, what's going on up there? You know, he had this strange little... Area made for good. It's a, it was a good screenshot place, though. I think I took a screenshot when I was done with the house. But yeah, that was that was the first like house area, and I I planted a bunch of the the uh, big spruce trees around it. Um, then I don't think there was really anything back here. No, it's just a river, a river and untouched nature. A you know, Walmart would look really good there. Oh, you can't see that in the background. Um, and a mountain I, I don't know that I ever, oh, a bunch of coal I never got. Well, anyway. What was very convenient about this spot was that, uh, there was a ravine right here. And as you see, I, oh, I went, or I went along in it. Now, this is going to be interesting. <clears throat> because, I think that, if I remember, this, 
this was a strip mining tunnel, I think. And I'm pretty sure this links up with the ravine there. Oh, it might have been here. Oh, I remember going down here. Oh, man. Oh, this is just nostalgic. This old Minecraft cave generation. It's all small and easy to navigate. Ooh, I'm gonna get lost if I keep going because I have not been here <laughs> in over a year. Um, even so, I think that wasn't me playing. I think I was just looking at the shit. But, oh man. Crazy though, just seeing, seeing this. Oh, yup, yup, here's the strip tunnels, the strip mining tunnels. You can see, I, I went, I did not fuck around when it came to strip mining. I never quite went farther that way, but I think it was the other side I went way farther. Um, yeah, they, those, those go for a long way. Each one. I did not fuck around. Oh my goodness gracious. Uh, let's go down. I want to see what happens when we go down now, because... Oh, it changed it, because this was bedrock. It, this was bedrock level. Um, damn, so they changed that. Okay. So let's go back up to the surface. Um, not going to go into the ravine, but I thought that linked up with the ravine, but I, I don't know. Maybe it didn't, but I know that ravine was that, that was big for resources. I remember, I think my entrance was over here. Yep. Yep, because I covered it with grass. Covered it with dirt that turned into grass. Yep, and then there was the water that went down. So I lived in this little area for a good long while, like I said, 1.15. And here's, uh, I'm not going to touch the sugar cane, I don't want to touch much. But um, I lived here, 1.15, here's a banner. Um, and I was just, actually, if I remember, there's a cave over this way. Um, but I started in 1.15 because I was really, really excited uh, for the um, 1.16 update. I was really excited. Uh... Let's go in here. I'll try not to show you the big thing. Um, okay, yep. The, I remember going to this other cave, too. Mm-hmm. Yep. Here, Skellington. But, yeah, this was another cave that I went to a lot, and then I, like, cleared out. But, um, eventually, what happened, though, uh, 1.16 came around. 1.16 came out, and I was able to do the thing that I wanted to. Which was, uh, I, I, for some reason, really wanted to build a castle. There's some cactus, evidently. I didn't even know I had cactus over here. But, um, I wanted to build a castle in survival. You know, I didn't want to make something super grandiose, but I wanted to build something that was, was cool and it was also functional. And so, 1.16 came out and I made that thing. Now, if you knew me during 2020, or, or 2020, then you know, oh, I had new recipes. You know, that was, um, this was, I was very proud of this. And, you know, I still am to some degree. Um, but now, of course, it's kind of, it's kind of ugly. It's kind of, uh, <laughs> kind of ugly. But, you know, like I said, I wanted it to be functional, but also, you know, kind of grand. But nothing, like, stupid huge. It's more like a fortress than a castle, but... It's really simple. It's like a layer cake design. It's it's mostly like it, it it's more like multiple buildings like attached to each other rather than it being one building, but I, you know, always consider it to be one. Yeah, and I think I Yeah, this this was a lake or a little pond that I, I might have done some terraforming, I don't remember, but I, I you know, you got to have a little fishing deck, a little fishing dock. Um get to that bridge later. Oh, uh, looks like it's nighttime, but um, as you can see, it's very much uh, 1.16 themed. It's uh, almost entirely blackstone. And uh, let me tell you, the amount of hours I spent going to basalt deltas to get blackstone, it's not even funny. Like, I spent so fucking much time just going into the nether, and here, we'll go all, right, all the way around on the outside. Because um, this is another thing, I had to, like, cut down this this shit over here to make room 
Um, and you can't go all the way around it. Uh, but no, I, th th you can tell there, there's so much black stone here. It's fucking absurd. Oh, and this was a unfinished project. Uh, but we'll go around it so you can see, and we'll do a, we'll do a tour. Um, of like when we, when we get in and you can see like I, I tried to light it up and the torch is all around, but one thing that annoyed me and still kind of annoys me to this day is the fact that, um, soul torches don't emit as much light as normal torches because I really wanted to light the whole thing up with soul torches but um I I really couldn't because they don't emit as much light of course now that doesn't really matter because they change how mobs spawn but uh, you can see just how much there was it's oh my god it's 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 so stupid but Lordy lord. And this is probably this is probably like the biggest building I've ever made in a single player survival world. Um I don't think I've ever made anything this big, but like like since this. But yeah, here's the the weird ass front window. I don't get it. I don't I made it. I don't even get it, but front gate, you know, open open gate. This I was I I still kind of like. I would have done the pillars differently, but you walk in and it's you know the wonderful spruce plank the the all wonderful spruce plank with a uh, black terracotta or black glazed terracotta and the, these quartz towers or pillars not towers um so let's see oh oh you're still here aren't you mo he's a friend but um let's start with going over to the right room this was um a shitty little blacksmith area now this i actually i really like this part this is actually pretty good all things considered um i think this is this is still good in my opinion um it's although it's not a super smelter i did put a lot of coal in it jesus christ um it's not like actually efficient because if it were efficient it would be a super smelter but it, i think it looks good but i still like that this is just stupid this is like it, a quote unquote incinerator. This is when the, they didn't have a use for this. You know, it didn't look like this. Um, the smithing table and then the, the fucking hello anvil. Oh my god, this is just stupid. <laughs> but, oh yeah, you can see it's all still still all blackstone by the way. Um this was the the quote unquote armory. Didn't decorate it a lot. I did have uh, my little collection of armor. Never got the chainmail uh chest plate. But, um, my god, I barely even had any armor to put in here, because I just have the, the netherite armor. Oh my god. Oh, shovel pick and... Oh, I had two netherite pickaxes? Damn. But, yeah, no, that was just tool storage. A lot of shit in here, damn. Um, up here, I think was... If I remember, this is a room I didn't do anything with. I'm pretty sure it's a useless room. Yep, it is. It's useless. Great. Um, did you go up to a tower though? You can see this is actually a pretty good little. It's not the highest point in the castle, but this is. It's a good lookout. I mean, you can see pretty far from here. Um, I've always liked how that looks. You know, it's really dumb. But go back down. Go down the other way. All right, now the other path. The other, the left path. This was the uh, the library that was also never finished. I did plan to, I wanted to make it like, like an actual kind of library looking place. Here's all the lapis and books. This is, you know, fully. I don't even know if it's actually fully leveled, but it probably is. Um, enchantment table. Um, I mean, this segment doesn't look bad, but it's just I never finished it. But you go up, and this is the uh, oh the map room. It's you'll notice this a lot. There's a lot of wasted space in this castle. Um, there's a aerial view, maps, a lot of blackstone, and there is a a bigger view. And you can see the cabin. Was it on here? No, but you can see the cabins like right up there. Um, don't know why they're surrounded with torches, uh, but they are. Oh yeah, and you can see the 
the cab or you can see her castle cabin you can see that that line right there that's that that rail and it goes up to that that village conveniently shaped like the continent of Africa we'll get to that later but then we go up these stairs and I think this is where it actually got useful because yep this room was a alchemy tower the potion tower where I did, I did a little brewing you know did, did a little brewing um, had some cauldrons for no purpose no reason um, and a bunch of nether wart, you know, a little mini nether wart farm. And head up. This was another, yep, another, like, observation tower. Just, oh, look, looking down at all the, the poor people below me. Ho, ho, ho. You've not spent 50 hours in the nether like I have, mining nothing but blackstone. You know, at least you, you can see, like, over there. And you can still see, you know, pretty far. You see, there's the little cabin valley over there. But then no, we'll, we'll head back down to the main hall. All right, so we're back on the main floor. This is uh, this is Mo. Actually, before I go into there, I'll show you the, what what this goes to. Um, this went to the, this was oh the mob research facility. Uh yeah, so I was gonna I was gonna try and trap one of every hostile mob. They were they were name tagged, um, but I was gonna try to eventually trap one of every hostile mob, um, at least that I could get my hands on, and put them in these various rooms. Just see, I didn't uh, didn't get very far, but I mean hey, at least I started it. Uh, but then you go around to the back, and yeah, this is where. That goes to the nether. We'll do that. We'll check that out in a second because I don't remember what's in there. And this, I think this just this just went to a cave. Yep, this is just a, this is just a cave. Well, another strip mine actually. This was the newer strip mine that was, I think, more efficient. I believe this is more efficient. Than, yeah, because it's the two. Yep, that's a more efficient strip mine right there. Actually, we're gonna we're gonna save the the Nether for after the castle tour. So now we'll continue on into the courtyard. This is one of the first purely decorative areas I made. I like the I like the basalt path. I still think that's nice. Um, with this weird, this really weird fountain, but it it sure is a fountain. And then uh, of course, I, once I made that that wasn't originally there. If I remember, that's the bedroom. Yeah, that's the bedroom tower. Um. You know, considering this is stone, that's a uh, really weak supports, but I don't know. It, it, it's working for now. So let's take uh, this path, and this goes to the kitchen, which is mostly decorative, as you can see. Um, I think it, oh, that was a, that's a gift from God. Um, here's the the main throne, the dinner table. Um, again, a lot of, a lot of wasted space. Um, and then just a shit ton of smokers. Uh, and then up here was a little church. A little church that I made. A little black and red church. And oh, what does this say? Great. Oh, yeah. This is, I, I probably should have put like a chandelier or something up here. But um, now we go up here, though. Up this ladder. Very slowly. <laughs> This was the bell tower. Great. So another kind of another view, but yeah, it's just a little bell tower. Again, this whole this whole part of the castle was purely decorative. I made a lot of the other sections before this. This is one of the the later sections added. All right now, going into this left area, we had the farm. Now we had a clearly, you know, I was very hungry. I made a lot of you know, these little, these little pens. Um, then in here was the. This was gonna be the sheep area. I didn't get very far with that project, but I, you know, I started it again. I started it. Then going up here, we had. Oh goodness me! Does this even work? Kinda does. The chicken thing. Oh, 
collected an egg. Great. Let's go up here. This was, uh, yeah, I never finished this tower. So the idea of this tower, though, was that it was going to be every, um, every animal that you, like, every farm animal, you know, every one that you'd farm for shit would be in this tower. But this one, though, this tower next door, I did get a lot farther. This was the crop tower. Now, as you see, I, I like shroom lights. Water coming down, but I liked shroom lights. And I had, on this floor, we had carrots, potatoes, radishes. Uh, we're not radishes. Turnip, beets, whatever the, the fucking vegetable. Um, and wheat. And then you can sense a pattern, because then there's melons and pumpkins. Now, okay, that's another room. We'll go to that in a second. But as you can see, though, the idea of this tower is that it's just every crop in the game. Here's uh, just a shit ton of sugar cane. And then there's a shit ton of sweet berries. And then I think this is the last one. Yep, this is the, the top floor is bamboo. Um, and see, I never really harvested it, because why the fuck would I harvest bamboo? Because then, next door to this tower was uh, this one. We go here. Oh, a little shitty little tower. Oh, you fall off. Don't fall off. That'd be bad. Going here, though. The, it's the B tower. Kind of in the middle of everything. In the back. But, uh, I just bred a shit ton of bees and I put them in here. I, yeah. I just wanted them more for the decorative reason. No, you can hear them. Yeah, they're, they're in there. They're doing things. I don't know exactly how many bees I have, but I'm pretty sure it's a lot. So going down here, this was a another unfinished project. This was gonna be biome cubes. I was gonna it was gonna be kinda like a zoo, but um I would get different animals in the game and put them in these differently themed cubes. I never did it. However, I did make the, the cube itself. I never even finished the cube. It was all glass and cause I don't mod my game. It looks very silly. But yeah, no, that's not really much going on with this. Oh, great. Oh, uh, 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 hey. So now we're going to be going to this this back area. Now, this was the stables where I had horses. I don't remember if I named them. I didn't. At least I didn't name you. Did I name you? Oh, he's black. He is black. Did I name you? Nope. I think the only one I named was a black. And a, a mule? I name you? Oh, okay. This room. I remember working on this. This took me something like nine hours to do. It was this shitty little aquarium. Yeah. Now, I think originally I was going to have a tank in the middle that would have puffer fish. Since I, I knew that they like poisoned fish, but... No, I remember I spent like a whole night... Uh, building this this thing, and it's really not that great. Kind of a lot of the castles, it's it's big, but it's not that great. Oh, I don't wonder why they're doing that. Yeah, they're they're doing that thing. The fish, uh, it does have fish in it, of varying types, but I, they're doing that thing where they they kind of just clump up. I really don't know why they do that. I did light it up with sea pickles though. At least I need a um ground proof it but um yeah no I, I just kind of went to the nearby coral reef and got a lot of coral and brought it over here so this was uh oh yeah and the, <laughs> this was funny because of how oh okay block there and a block there well can't put another trap door there so well immersion ruined so now we're going to be going to the upstairs area in the castle where there's a lot more useful shit um i think there was like like the bedroom and whatnot was up here but oh yes 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 this was the first major room i completed this was the utility room now you can see you've got all oh, trading shit it's like all the shit to take to the village and then oh there's a bunch of random blocks and that was for the one achievement for 
getting the like, eating everything in the game. I was just gathering everything that there was. There's a chest of random shit. Um, nether items. Like, uh... Oh. Stimming. Monster loot, or just mob loot. Uh, wood. Sand. Dirt. Stone. In here. Oh, netherite scrap. Okay, so this is like valuables. Um, diamonds specifically. Damn, I had a lot of diamonds. Um, iron. Coal. Redstone. And emeralds. And then four furnaces here. Don't remember why. Um, and then over here was this. Yep, this is feed storage. Specifically beetroot seeds. Uh, carrots. Beetroot. Seeds. Potatoes. Wheat. Yeah, you can see it's it's just a, that's not a flower. Uh, that's also not a flower. But yeah, no, this was the uh, this was the first big room, and you could go out and there was this you could look down. Um, and then this you get linked it links back. I didn't go up these stairs, but this this is the alchemy tower from earlier. So it uh, it, it linked together. I made it like that so it'd be convenient. Then we go back in here, and there's a, a wonderful painting. And now there's nothing behind it. But then you go up here. This was the, I believe, the highest point in the tower. Not this room. This was going to be a collection room, which I didn't get very far in. Um, there's nothing even in the jukebox. But I was going to put, I remember I was going to put the mob heads on these fences. That's a gift from God. Then you go up here, the highest point in the castle. Except for over there. Don't look at that. This is like, well, the, it's the highest point where you can stand and look out. You can see just, there's just things. Wow, Minecraft. Anyway, let's go down. Um, Actually, let's sleep. Well, no, I can't really do that yet. Well, we'll do that when we get there. Um, So I'm going back out, specifically back here, you know, because that, that little, it extended, right? This goes, actually, yeah, this, this is the last tower. We actually have to look look at which is the bedroom tower which was one of the last editions and it's just you go up here and this is where we this is where we started all my cats and win the wonderful bed so let's actually sleep then I'll show you the nether all right so we've made it back to the nether portal let's go in get my sword out I don't remember what it was like in here at all all right. Clearly, I never made another base. I did get one of those though. I've captured a Strider. Oh. Now I remember. I instantly remembered. Yep, this is just about one of the shittiest Nethers I've ever had. Yeah. So I came out into a Soul Sand Valley. You know, fucking great Soul Sand Valley. Oh, look, I'm already getting slowed. Oh my god, it's so fun. Um. And there's just a lava lake over there. Oh, that's it's wonderful. Oh, great. But I made a little nether, nether brick path up here to the nether fortress. This was the this was the fortunate part was that I did spawn near a nether fortress, and I I think I flattened it after you go a certain way into it. I think. Did I? Did I? I think I did. Yep, I did. Because this was, I wanted it to be. Oh, hello. I wanted it to pretty much be a wither skeleton spawner, which, uh, you're a lot of them nearby, so I think it worked to some degree. Yeah, no, I, I remember exploring this a lot early on. This fortress specifically. Uh, but, you know, I very quickly got through all of it. Then. Oh god, I gotta, I gotta remember where it's at. I think it was out here. That's part of the same fortress. Oh, I'm trying to like remember. I think, was it this way? I don't remember, but there was, it was just a really, it's just a really shitty nether. Honestly, I don't think I want to show much more than that because it's not that great. Like, 
it took me like so long to find any of the other biomes. I eventually did. I found all of them. But it was just a really shitty start. Especially for like 1.16. I was very disappointed um, when I got here and I immediately just see fucking brown all around me. Like, oh great. So this last thing we're gonna we're gonna look at was something I made like in the middle. Oh, oh damn it. No, I have a mine cart. Oh, gotta go get one. Never mind. Uh, if I were to ever do anything big like this again, it would definitely be just for show. That would not be—I would not make it the base, but uh, yeah. Okay, so this minecart rail. Oh lord, I have memories of this. Oh, this is also loud as fuck. Oh my god. This is gonna take a few minutes. Um, because it's kind of a long ride. Also, because I, I did like the bare minimum to power it. But I'll probably do a speed up. I'll probably like speed up the video um, as this is going. Because it is going to take like a few minutes to get there. So we'll see you when we get there. Huh. Oh, I think I remember what happened here. Oh. Especially since I see something in the water. A shield. I think what happened one time was a, a creeper spawned and it blew up. I think. So oh, hold on. We're going to have to. Come on. Come on. There we go. Yeah. All right, back to the back to the silly. Oh, you can see it. We're nearly there. We are coming up. Oh. Which I really took over in the game, uh, in this world at least. Um, I don't remember what I named it. I think I literally just called it Africa, because it was uh, ever so conveniently the exact shape of Africa. But um, no, I remember I was I was just exploring over here, and it just so happened. That I, I here's a desert. Oh, there's a swamp too, but here's a desert and the desert temple. Um, there's a desert village in it, too. What do you know? It's shaped exactly like Africa, but here we are once again. They break the minecart. Now, this village, as you can see, I completely took it over. And it was really silly the way that I did, but no, here's... We'll go up the tower, because this is the only building I never removed. We'll just go up the stairs... Uh, get a get a nice view. How are you out? Well, whatever. Oh, there's a pillager outpost right over there. How convenient. But yeah, no, he had walls all around it for the safety of the people. I actually don't know how the villagers got out. Um, basically, what what I had them doing, or how I had them was like this. I had them like this. Oh, great! Now they're all going to bed. Oh, no. fuck me! I get all right. So next day, I had these uh, I had these houses set up. So they're all themed in some way. So this is the librarian's house, right? And I had it so they can't get out. Now the problem is children can get in, which we did have a a problem with that one time. Um, but it was so I could get in, right? This was the reason I had it like this was so that I could do raids. Ant on my desk. Uh, I gotta swat them away. There we go. All right, hey, get out of here, bitch. Anyway, the insectoid menace has been removed. Um, but I had these houses set up so that I could do raids and I could I wouldn't have to deal with doors, basically. Because I thought, oh, I want to do raids, but I want to keep my villagers safe. So I forced them to be in these houses they can't get out of. But I didn't want to have to deal with all the redstone wiring of like putting 
like pistons or something in front of the doors so that nothing can get in or out. So I just did this on all the houses. I don't, I don't think I did it on all of them, but just a few. Yep, nope, I didn't get to do it on all of them yet. I fucking, excuse me. But this was, you can see I had it set up. I had a lot of these set up. But I, I just never finished it. Like a lot of the shit in this world, I never finished it. But no, we had um, they I think they made these golems themselves. I didn't I didn't craft these, but every building had you know, a theme like okay here's the potion brewers, uh, house. So it was stone with yellow wool, and then here was I don't even fucking remember. Oh, evidently it's the the wool guys, shepherds whatever. So they had wood with sandstone. Yeah, I I don't get that one either. Then we had, oh, yep, yeah, that seems about right. Fletcher's with the, the birch planks. This, oh lord. Cartographers. Yep. I cheated because I heard the uh, the writing sound inside. Um, farmers had a very basic one. They had just plain oak planks. And they extended out to here. Yep, this is where they this is where they live. Actually, it's very similar. It's exactly the same. No, it's not exactly the same. The librarians have windows. That's what makes them different. And then I think over here was this was. Oh yeah, that was that was a smoker. So it's a uh, butcher's. That's what it was. Uh, now I gotta see. Hey, yeah, no, there's there's no back door. Let's see if I can get out from the little minecart station I made. See if I can get out through there. Perhaps? Perhaps? Well, I mean, there's not really anything to show, anyway. It's just, just Minecraft. But let's, uh, let's take the long journey back. Well, we're finally back from that long-ass cart ride. But that'll... That'll basically conclude it for this world tour. It's interesting to see, um, what I, what I did back when I made this, because I, I did this all when I was, I think, 14 or 15. Something along those lines. So it's, it's very, very nice to see that, though, to, to see this again. But there's, there's one last thing I want to check, because I honestly, I can't remember if I did it or not. We're going to check if I killed the Ender Dragon, and I'm also going to put myself back in the, uh, the bedroom tower, just for, you know... Silly purposes. I don't. I don't have a joke for that. We're gonna check. We're gonna sit like right back where I was. Look at the achievements. Okay, we're gonna see. Uh, nope. I don't think I did it. I didn't. No. I did not ever kill the Ender Dragon. However, I did. I did spend uh several hours, probably a couple hundred. Oh, bees! I did spend a couple hundred hours building this stupid fucking castle. But uh, no, I think it's. It's very interesting to see that I was able to do something like this when I was, you know, 14, 15, however old I was. And the fact that I, I committed this much to it, and I made this much of it, even though, you know, now my standards are higher, and I think this looks like utter ass. <laughs> but, no, it's it's nice to, to come see this. Before we end the video, there's one more thing I want to see. We're going to check what Dagoobie is. Because I don't remember what this is. I know what Jeff is, and I know what Creative is. Actually, I'll tell the story of Creative right now. It's it's actually kind of funny. Uh, Creative was a test world I made. I, I probably deleted, actually, because uh, it's just wasted space. You can see it's 1.19, but it was a basically a test world where I wanted to test shit in Creative mode because I wanted to prank a friend uh, in his Minecraft server where he made this, like, big, uh, or no, he, like, expanded on an already existing village, and he, like, expanded on it, made it look good, right? Well, I wanted to prank him by, um, creating a giant penis out of black concrete, <laughs> and making it so when he walked inside, it would explode. So I, I used that world to make a prototype version, basically, um, and it, I made it especially evil because it was like the floor would explode and then below that was a pit of lava. So you would take 
you know, if you didn't die from the explosions, the lava would probably kill you. So that's what that's what creative was. But I'm gonna see what Dagoobi is because I honestly have no fucking clue what this is. Whoa, what is this? Oh, it's this world. I remember this world. Okay, this so I remember what this is now. This was just a uh, another survivor world I wanted to do. I think it was it was for 1.19. Um, but I didn't, I, I mean, as you see, I didn't get very far. I wanted to do something different. I started in a jungle biome, which was, I, I liked that at the time. Um, cause I, I, I don't think I've ever really had a jungle base, but I was very fortunate to spawn next to two villages, two desert villages. So that's what this was. Um, other than that, I think it was just like, I made this little tree house. I might've made like, I think I made a lower area. There's this. Very unsorted. Yeah, I had this little this little area over down or down here. Little little gate sort of. Sugar cane, arm. And then and then you just like go out and there's villages, but Okay, so that's what Dagoobi is. Um I might delete this world. I I don't think I really need it anymore. So I, I honestly I completely forgot it. This is a very unsafe house also because mobs can just wander right up the stairs. Oh, in fact, I see. Oh, 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 uh, 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 fuck you. Uh, so yeah, that's gonna do it for this world tour video. Um, I did hope you enjoyed seeing that uh that shitty castle. I might show off this world as well because I'm I'm thinking about making a new creative world, not a new creative, world, a new survival world. Um, for 1.20, just because I don't, know, I I just kind of want to make a new one because I'm kind of sick of that, kind of sick of Jeff. <laughs> so I don't know. I, I'm probably yeah. I don't know if if you want um if you want a world tour of that. I mean, it's also that's not a very big world either. And but I I don't want to look at it in this video just because I don't really I don't really care about it right now. But um yeah, that's gonna do it for this video. So if you did enjoy it, um do pr uh, press that silly little shit. It's not even a red button anymore. It's black now. Press the black subscribe button. That'd be pretty. Epic. Go watch my other shit too. My other shit's a lot better. Kaboom. Yes, Rico. Kaboom.